Hello and welcome to this recorded presentation for the employees of the sushi lounges from Poway Encinitas and Point, Point Loma. My name is Bill Hammond. I am proud to be your benefits broker. My contact information is on the screen, as is the names of Rhiannon, your account manager, and Anna, your benefit administrator. All of us are available to you, not just now, but throughout the year to help with any questions you might have related to your health plan, choosing a plan, logging into the enrollment portal, whatever it may be, uh, we are here for you throughout the year. Feel free to uh, reach out to any one of us and we'd be happy to answer your questions. Let's talk about a quick agenda. We'll talk about the timeline of open enrollment, our medical plans, dental and vision plans. As a note, nothing's really changing there. The price has changed a very small amount. The copay's changed by $5 here or there, but other than that, we're keeping all the same plans in place. This should make it very, very quick for those of you that are already enrolled and wish to just keep things as they are. You'll be able to log in and very quickly go through the process. Uh, we'll go through that process with a quick uh, a tutorial. And then where do I go with questions? So the questions really is gonna be us. Uh, also, Cameron Erickson is available as is your managers to help with some of these things. As a note for any of you that would like help in Spanish, Ana Narvaez is uh, fluent in Spanish and able to help you uh, with any questions that you might have uh, in Spanish. So let's talk about the timeline. Uh, we're looking at September 20th as the start of our open enrollment going all the way through Friday, September 30th. This is the time of year where you can enroll or disenroll or make plan changes, add or remove dependents, whatever it may be. Anything you wanna do, this is your free time to do exactly that. Any changes that you make will be effective over November 1st uh, of 2022. So if you're moving from one plan to another, that will not happen until November 1st, even if you do this right on September 20th. Again, a reminder, please complete this enrollment no later than September 30th, that is a Friday, uh, and you will be doing this enrollment at the Ease Enrollment platform, the benefit platform. We have nine medical plans available from Sharp, Kaiser, HealthNet, and Anthem. Lots and lots of choices. I'm gonna go through the Kaiser plan side by side uh, in some detail. I won't do this for all nine of our plans, but I just wanna get you familiar with some of the terminology that you're looking at here and what it means to you. So here we have a bronze plan, a silver plan, and a gold plan, all from Kaiser. Now your bronze HMO plans are gonna be the lowest cost plans. These are catastrophic type plans with high deductibles, high co-pays, limited benefits, but if you had a major accident, if you had something going on that cost millions of dollars, the most you would pay in a full in a calendar year is $8,200. So this is a great plan for any of you that don't use your health insurance really at all and just want something so you don't have to pay the Obamacare penalty. This bronze HMO plan will be one of the lowest cost plans available and it will give you actually some benefits still before uh, your deductible and it still is there for you for a couple of doctor visits and for some generic prescription drugs. Uh, but other than that, really not a good plan for any of you that are intending to use your health plan a lot. The silver plan is a good value plan. It's got a deductible, it's got some higher co-pays, but the premium that you would pay out of your paycheck um, is much lower than the gold plan. Gold plan is a good plan for those of you that are needing a really good health plan, you need low co-pays, you're gonna be visiting the doctor, you need to have MRIs, you're having a baby, maybe you go to the emergency room, maybe you have knee surgery coming up. The gold plans will do a lot better for you. So let's, let's review this silver plan here and talk about what some of these terms are. So with the silver plan here, we have a $1,650 deductible. Now a deductible is, generally speaking, what the insurance company says, you must pay 100% of this amount before we start paying for anything. Now, so that means that you would pay 1,650 before they pay anything. Now, there are a number of exceptions to that. Anywhere where you see the term DED waived, you see it on all these plans, DED waived. This means the deductible is waived. This means to go see a doctor, you do not need to spend $1,650 first. You would be able to waive that deductible and see a regular primary doctor for $55 or a specialist for $80 right off the bat. So you do not have to pay your deductible. 
Same thing as we get into our lab and x-ray. So blood work is 30 bucks, x-rays are 75 bucks, deductible way. Skipping down to rehabilitation or habilitation, this is physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, $65 deductible waived. Chiropractic, $15 deductible waived. And you skip all the way down here to the urgent care benefit, $55 deductible waived. All right, so if you're on this silver plan, you can see a regular doctor or a specialist, get blood work or x-rays, have physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, get chiropractic care, and go to urgent care all without ever having to touch this $1,650 deductible. So when does the deductible come into play, you might ask? Really anywhere where you see after deductible. So if I need an MRI or a CAT scan or a PET scan, I would have to meet my deductible before I got this $350 copay. Now down here, hospital services, uh, inpatient, outpatient surgery, emergency room. The way this works is you would pay 40% of the cost after your deductible. Now, that does not mean that if you had a million dollar claim, you'd be paying $400,000. What it means is if you went to the hospital, let's say you got this plan on, on November 1st and on November 2nd, you went to the hospital and it was a million bucks. You would pay 100% of the cost for the first $1,650. And then you would pay 40% of the cost for the, uh, and, and Kaiser would pay 60% of the cost until you're 1650 plus 40% all rolled up into $8,200. Once you've spent out of your pocket $8,200, you pay 0%, Kaiser pays 100%. So that million dollar claim that you got, you would pay $8,200 of it and Kaiser would pay 9,000, <laughs> 900 or 900,000, you know, 99, whatever. They pay all the rest of it. Okay. So uh, that's very important to note. Also important to note that $55 doctor visit and the $35 lab work and that $55 urgent care visit you might have had, all of those numbers are rolling towards this 8,200. So let's say you had already spent $200 or $300 in copays before your million dollar problem you would pay, let's say it's $300. That means you have 7,900 left. That million dollar claim would cost you 7,900. And for the rest of the calendar year, every one of these benefits, including prescription drugs and doctor visits, hospital stays, emergency room, everything would, uh, would be free for you. So that's that silver plan. Now notice the gold plan. Deductible is much higher at 6,300. Doctor visits are a little bit higher, but you only get three visits. So after the third visit, and they combine this, by the way, with office visits, regular specialist, they combine it with your physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and your urgent care visit benefits. All of these, you get three of these at a copay, and then you got to pay 100% up to your deductible, okay? So lots of good stuff here. $500 brand name drug deductible subject to all tiers. So no matter what you do, you're going to have to pay the first $500 for prescription drugs, and then you get an $18 copay for generics. With, with Kaiser, with the silver plants, $350. With gold, there's no deductible. Notice also with the hospital services, if you have that bronze plan and you have that million-dollar problem, it's going to cost you the same as if you bought the silver plan. So this is why I really like it for those of you that might not really have a lot of health care needs, uh, not really ever use your health insurance, but you need something to protect you against those major, major risks. Uh, but beware, if you need an MRI, if you, if you go to the hospital, if you go to the emergency room, you're going to pay the first $6,300 out of your pocket before Kaiser starts paying anything. Now compare that to what this gold plan looks like, $250 deductible, a little bit lower out of pocket. Doctor visit benefits are cheaper. Diagnostic lab and x-ray is cheaper. Imaging, you still have to pay your deductible, but again, it only costs you $250 after that initial $250. No brand name drug deductible low co-pays, but then really where it's different is down here on the big ticket items. Inpatient hospital, $600 a day after your deductible. So if you went to the hospital, you'd pay the first 250 and then you'd pay 650 for day one, two, three, four, and five. If you're there for six or seven or 10 or 20 consecutive days, you would stop paying that $600 a day after that. So a week in the hospital will cost you 3,000 bucks. 
Now, if you need surgery, you would pay $335 after copay or after a deductible. So if I needed a $10,000 surgery on the silver plan, it's going to cost me the first $1,650 out of my pocket plus 40%. Okay, so this, this surgery is gonna cost me four or 5,000 bucks on the silver plan, but on the gold plan, it would cost me 250 plus 335. So $585 versus four or $5,000. This is why when people say, why should I buy, why should I buy the uh, gold plan versus the silver plan? It's because of these benefits right here. These are the really expensive ones. So if you know you're having a baby, you know you have surgery coming up, whatever it is, or maybe you ride a mountain bike, you do a lot of snowboarding, whatever it may be, and you go to the emergency room. Emergency room is just gonna cost you 250 after your deductible is met, okay? So bronze, very low cost, silver, great value, gold is gonna be your best benefit plan. Here we have our sharp plans. Now I'm not gonna go through the same exact type of scenario, but notice on this bronze plan, full we'll higher deductible, and everything is after the deductible. So literally on this bronze sharp plan, you're paying 100% of everything up to 7,600. And then you pay a portion of the cost after that. Okay, here's our silver plan, another good value. You've got deductible weight for a number of benefits. Okay, and then we have our two gold plans. Premier is a smaller network. The big difference is the Radies Children's Network. So for those of you that have children that you might be enrolling, you're going to want to stick towards the performance plan here. For those of you that are enrolling by yourself and don't have any kids, this Premier Plan is a fantastic option. No deductible, good co-pays, but notice the hospital stay difference benefit and the emergency room benefit between the performance and the Premier. So again, for those of you looking for a good, sharp health plan that do not have kids, go with this, this the Gold HMO B plan, good plan. So you can see how the plans differ from one to another based on what we talked about with the uh, Kaiser plans. And then finally, we've got our full network HMO for, for health net. So if you want to see a Scripps primary doctor, but a sharp specialist and a UCSD surgeon or something like that, you're going to need the full HMO network here. And you see how those plans work there. It's going to be a little more expensive than all those other HMO plans, but more doctors. And then for those of you that really want a lot of selection, a lot of freedom of movement, maybe a lot of out-of-state travel, uh, your PPO plan is going to be your most expensive option but it's going to be uh, the most doctors, the most providers, the most hospitals, and the easiest for you to go from one place to the other without needing referrals. So those are our medical plans. Our dental and vision plans, we have Delta for our HMO, Emeritas for our PPO dental, and VSP for our vision. So we have our three HMO plans, this bronze HMO plan, again, once again, really great for any of you that just want a couple of free cleanings a year, and that's all you really need. Very inexpensive plan to have, this bronze HMO plan. The silver and gold are a little bit more expensive, a little bit more coverage, lower co-pays across the board. With HMO dental plans, there's no annual max. So that's a really great benefit that you never run out of benefits, which we'll talk about on our next slide with PPO dental. Uh, and orthodontia is covered with our HMO plans. HMO is gonna cost you a lot less for your dental plans, but you get a lot less choice of providers. Okay, so HMO, less cost, less choice. So for those of you who don't have a really a strong opinion on what dentist you go to, the HMO dental plans would be great. But just know there's not as many of them, and a lot of times they're trying to upsell you on things. So your HMO experience is not going to be as comfortable as the PPO, but it's not going to cost you as much. Dental PPO plans right off the bat, look at this calendar year max at the bottom. What the calendar year max means with dental PPO is just the opposite of HMO, uh, of just the opposite of the medical plans. With medical plans, we said once you hit the maximum, you pay nothing and they pay everything. But when it comes to the PPO dental plans and that annual max, once you have spent $2,000 for this platinum PPO plan of, of Emeritas's money, they cover nothing and you cover everything else. All right. Also notice that everything is just percentages. With our HMO dental plans, we saw different copay levels. With our PPO plans, you're going to see percentages. So this PPO gold plan, it's going to pay 100% of the cost for your preventative. It's going to cover 80%, meaning you pay 20% for the basic services. 
and it, it in basic includes endodontics, which is root canals. Notice how the silver plan moves the root canal endodontic benefit into major, all right? Uh, and major events, you're gonna pay 50% for these, for these two plans. Uh, but once the Meritas is their 50% or their 80% equals 1,000, they're all done for the year on this silver plan. So if you buy this PPO silver plan, you don't have a lot of benefits. You're probably doing it because you want a lot of freedom of choice of who you can see, but you don't have a lot of dental needs. This gold plan is going to give you $1,500 a year. The platinum plan, $2,000. PPO plans will cost you more money out of your paycheck, but they will give you a lot more choice of who you can see. So those are our six dental plans. Now with our vision plans, we've got two. There's the gold and the platinum. Both of these plans are identical in every way except for one. Uh, they both have a $10 copay for eye exams. They both have $180 allowance for frames. And they both have $25 copay for lenses. The difference is in the frequency in which you get the benefits. So you see in our red circles of the yellow arrows, these three numbers are the frequency in which you get the benefits. So this first 12 tells you how frequently we get our $10 allowance for an eye exam, once every 12 months. The second 12 tells you how frequently you get our lens copay of $25. Same with both, every 12 months, once a year. But the third number tells us how frequently we get our frames allowance of $180 or $150 in contact lens benefit. With the gold plan, we get that once every two years. With the platinum, it's once a year. So for those of you that just want the eye exam, you want the cheapest plan possible, this gold plan is great. For those of you that have glasses, please buy the platinum plan. It's $23 about more per year for you to have this plan. And for that $23, you get $180 in benefits. So you get this $180 once every 12 months versus once every two years. So $180 of tax-free benefits in exchange for $23 in pre-tax premium is a good deal. So this platinum plan is the one I recommend. Nothing wrong with the gold, the platinum is just a better value. Here's a little plug to remind you that each of these insurance companies have smartphone apps. Please download these apps to your phone when you, uh, when you enroll because it will improve your benefit experience. You'll have your ID card right there. You can communicate with your providers. You can access prescription information, claims information. Really, really, really helpful. So please do that. Now, as far as our online enrollment portal, we are going to do a quick uh, walkthrough of that. Uh, and how that starts is you get this email here. It's welcoming you to the Medical Dental Vision Enrollment Portal. The deadline is September 30th. Go ahead and click here to log in. All the information is there. And when you get there, you'll see this. You're going to see this particular uh, page here. Use, username, password for those of you that are visiting this for the first time. You're going to create a username and password. For those of you that are coming back, you'll enter your password. If you've forgotten it, you hit this little forgot button right here, and it'll help you with it. And if it's impossible and you can't do it, reach out to Cameron or your manager, and we can help you reset it or give you a temporary username and password. So once you know what you're doing, you're going to log in just like this. You're going to see what you currently enrolled in. So I was already enrolled last year, so this is what I chose. You're going to hit Start Enrollment, Benefits Enrollment, this is going to be the, the, the video that we're going to, that you're looking at right now will be uploaded there. You have to fill, fill out all of your information here. Notice the asterisk, anywhere there's an asterisk, you need to complete that. You're going to want to add your dependents into this, these plans. Continue. Any documents that you must open will be here. If you have Medicare, you'll list it there. Now you're into your benefits. So, what I want you to know is you get here, you must specify your coverage. Hit the X, hit the check mark if you wish to enroll and the X if you wish to wish to decline. We're going to enroll myself and my daughter in both of these plans. Once you do that, see it said I'm married, so why is my spouse uh, waving? If you don't have a spouse, it won't ask you to do that. This is showing what I had last year. I had the silver HMO plan A. So if I wanted that again, I could choose that again, uh, or I could choose a totally different plan, okay? What did I have? I had the, the Sharp Silver HMO Plan A. I'm gonna select that. Notice my numbers are changing up here on the right. Notice what else happens. 
this is my number on a per paycheck basis after the employer, my employer pays their portion. Watch what happens if I waive my daughter. I can instantly see the price difference on what it would cost between the two. Okay, so if you're looking to compare this versus some other coverage you have, this is how you would do it. So I know that my daughter is costing me almost $100, looks like about $96 more per paycheck. Bi-weekly means that I have 26 paychecks. I would do 95 times 26 divided by 12, and that would give me the monthly difference. Let's leave my daughter enrolled. Notice all these plans have different links underneath them, such as the benefit summary. You can open up a benefit summary here, and you can see what the plan uh, covers in more detail. You can click here to find a per sharp performance doctor. Notice on this plan, I'm looking for a search. I'm searching the performance network. So once I get here, I want to search performance, my zip code. Okay. I'm looking for primary care. I can be looking for a specialist or I can be looking for a mental health, behavioral health. I would search providers. Here's um, Russell Bennett Hayes. He's accepting new patients. Let's go ahead and this is the person we want. So we need to find his information on uh, the provider uh, information number, the, the, uh, the exact detail on what provider they are. So there's the medical group, there's the net, network is performance. Here's my provider NPI here. I'll right click this because notice down here, I have to click create and enter in the information, uh, the primary care ID, as well as the name. So you would do that here. You could also auto assign. So if you don't wanna choose a provider right now, or you want uh, them to assign one to you, you could just hit this auto assign button and it disappears just like that. Okay, continue. I'm enrolling myself, but not my daughter. Why not? Because she's got other coverage. There's my wife. I had the silver plan last year. Here's a silver plan again. Boom. We're off to the races. Continue. Vision plan. We're going to enroll both of us in the vision plan. There it is. Again, I can select a provider by going here. Now, you don't need to select one uh, going into enrollment with vision. That's just how you would find one later on. Continue. Here's my summary. I want to look at all this. If anything's wrong, I can click the edit button and go back. Continue. Now, I did this on purpose. All of us have to open the summary of benefits and coverages. So notice this box right here. This is a mandatory thing to open. If you do not click here and open this, it's going to, when you try to get to your signed forms page, it's going to say you have missing information. Okay, fine. You click the thing, you open the thing, you can review the thing if you'd like, and then you, you get back and now you can sign. Now, the reason for that is that's an Obamacare document. It's an Obamacare requirement of your employer to show you. That's why it's required. Uh, so once you get through that, you'll sign your forms. Now, if you've done this before, you know how it works. If you've used DocuSign in the past, it works just like that. Uh, you'll click that button. It's going to generate the forms. And you're going to type your signature one time. And you're going to use your mouse or your finger on a mobile device and sign it next. It's going to just let you place all of your signatures in all of these different areas. Finish signing. You can leave us a review or some sort of comment on your enrollment experience here. Uh, otherwise, just hit the finish button there and you're all done. You're now going to get an email that says this is what you need. You completed your enrollment. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, and you move on from there. So what do you do now? You're waiting for that email I showed you originally to enroll in the portal, log in, make your elections. Please do this by Friday, September 30th. If you have any questions or you need any answers, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for your help here or for your time here. Uh, it's an honor to be your broker, and I look forward uh, to working with all of you. Have a great day and talk soon.